Back out with your boys, Cass and Dom. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a special video for each and every one of you. It's showing you Dom's rewards that he's been getting on the co-op, uh, which is a special co-op, level 150, that's just come out. And also, we're going to give you a full breakdown of the entire speed run. I'm talking from hollows to bosses, how to complete them, how to use um, uh, strong attacks and when to use them. Trust me, this, there's a lot of work that Dom put into this video and we are very excited to be showing it to you. But first, we want to show you the rewards that Dom's been getting over the last 36 hours on his special court, guys. Two star, three star hearts, powders. He's got books. Excitement's for real. He got a Hogyoku as well. Nice. More two star power hearts, three star power hearts, powders. And this is what it looks like, guys, when you do pull a rewriting brush. Is that special rainbow gold red looking ball. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what you got. That's how you can tell. There's, there is a rewriting brush. We're going to carry on going. Two star, three star power hearts, two Hogyokus, and a book. A blue book, guys. Speed book. Awesome, awesome work. Keep on going. Two star power hearts, three star power hearts, more books. Dom, are you finding it so easy to get these books? Oh my god. All right, two star power hearts again. More, but it was a mistake that Dom really made. I want to show you guys in a second. There is a rewriting brush again. That's another one. Another Hogyoku. Guys, okay. You see this right here? Dom actually wanted to take a still shot of this. And by accident, he quit the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Dom quit the game. He never got the rewriting brush on this map here. Dom, what were you thinking? More two star power hearts, more powders. Even more powders, more books. This is easier than book runs, Dom. You got some more over here, another book. All right, guys, and that's all the rewards Dom been getting over the last 36 hours of play court. Remember, it drops four times a day. Um, it drops for two hours at a time. Now, guys, we're gonna be showing you a full, honestly, you got a full breakdown of the co-op maps, each wave as it comes, and how you guys can defeat it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video because we really did enjoy making it for each and every one of you. So here we go guys, step by step, each wave as it comes for each one of the levels. We're gonna try and break down every hollow, every boss, and what you guys could possibly want to do as you're gonna play this co-op, mainly with Rerukas, but you can use other characters. So let's start it off right now. First wave, very easy. You've only got three of them there. You gotta watch out for that poison. You, you can step in there for a second, but you can step back out, not an issue. Go ahead and take them out, normal attack damage. Okay, this second wave, you got butchers on either side. You wanna be very, very careful with that. All right, they're the main point of attack, so be careful. Again, normal attack damage will do it, but you wanna break their guard with a strong attack for sure. Third wave, you got a lure, ladies and gentlemen. This is a lure. You want to be careful because he's just going to sucker you into the middle. On the outside is wave number four, ladies and gentlemen. You have butchers on either side. You want to seriously use strong attack damage to break their guard. If not, bring the fight to you. Come lower down and be careful. On top of that, you got Mayuri coming after you. If he poisons you, he's going to inflict mass damage. But if he hits you as well at the same time, it will do a devastating damage to you. You guys know this is level 150 and it will take down most of your energy again normal attack damage on mayuri shouldn't be really hard get it done wave complete part number two wave number one we are now coming across the butchers again spinning butchers four of them want to take them out quickly but at the same time we want to stay more towards the bottom keep the fight towards the bottom that's got most of the space and keep away from the quicksand which will slow you down no more attack damage strong attack damage should do the job here we go the second string now second wave of attack we've got butchers again on the left and the right so if you're taking the fight to the middle they could have caused some damage wave number three this is the one you got you got the flamethrowers Two of them running towards you at the bottom, one in each top corner. They're the ones you need to really look out for because if you were to hit them with Ruruka, she will only do a one damage to them, guys. Unless she does a third strong attack or you have a Kenny um, or possibly an Ikaku with a normal attack, they will break through that and it won't just be hitting them for one. You'll actually be hitting them for some damage. You can still use your strong attacks. It still gives them um, a weakness, guys. So don't forget, you can still use your strong attacks on them. But third strong attack was the Donut. That's the one that will do you damage. This is the lure on part number two. You've got the three in the middle. This is where you don't want to be rushing in. Because if you get in that center and you finish him off, you got Kaname. Kaname will, will really run after you. He's got that four string attack, guys. Four string attack, normal attack. If he hits you, you're not moving. If you guys gather together, he will hit all three of you. So you might want to create some space 
and lure them to the bottom. So you got Kaname, bring him down to the bottom, spread out, and go ahead and attack him. Normal attack damage does great work on him. Great, great job. You can do a strong attack if you want. And then bring down Sajin. Sajin will always hit you with the same strong attack. The, the swiping sword. He's quick, by the way. I'm just putting it out there. He's quick. And if he hits you, he's got range. Take a look for yourself right now. Take a look at this. That will hit you from range. So you want to keep moving. Hit him and move. Hit him and move. Don't crowd together again. You don't want to get total down. But it wasn't these bosses that caused that much of an issue. It's the wave after this that are waiting for you. Here you have the Earthquake guy. Why do I call him the Earthquake guy? He's the big guy down the center. When he ground shakes, his ground shake goes into a V shape. So you want to make sure you try and stay possibly away from him. And the butchers around him, if, they, if the big guy don't hit you, the butchers will. Again, normal attack damage and strong attack should clear it. Okay, next part. Wave number one, we got Genji size part, okay? He's got flame everywhere, stay away from the flames. This is where you've got the spinning swords or spinning spears. Um, he, they throw them, they will do damage on you. You want to take them out as quickly as possible. Normal attack damage, strong attack damage. Take them out, but don't go too far forward. That's a piece of advice I'm going to give you. You don't, all three of you don't want to get trapped in the middle of this because once you get past this wave, it's the next one that will seriously test your might. Here we go. Butchers, you're seeing them everywhere. You've got Riruka already in, in the middle. Don't stay back just a little bit. Normal attack damage, strong attack damage again. Okay, now we have the lure again, top right hand side. You might just want to one send one of you. All right, the other two could just stay back just a little bit, it would be good. Normal attack damage should take them out. It's what comes after this. All right, you got an earthquake at the top. <laughs> I call them earthquake, the big guys. One at the bottom, you got a Genjusai. Problem with Genjusai is, if he does his vortex, his flaming vortex, that will seriously do some immense, immense damage. Stay away from Genjusai. He will pop off, go to the side. If, if he's coming to the, side, to the side where you are, go into the other corner. You've got four corners you can go into. Go and hide there. Absolutely perfect. Next wave. Four. Looks easy, right? But is it a trap? Now, you're going to go in. Don't all go in all guns blazing. Go jump into the middle because you know that when the next wave hits... You're not going to be expecting it. Again, we've got the flamethrower, guys. And we got the hollow. I call her the hollow. She's the jumping hollow. That's the one which Riruka cannot do any damage to, really. Hit them for her for one, except when she does a third strong attack. Or a Kenny would be perfect for this. You're going to see this right now. A perfect example with a donut. So you want to do a third strong attack, that will destroy her. All right, next wave. We've got butchers coming up towards the top towards the bottom and behind them you've got the poison guys that come through the floor not an issue here yeah, again this now we have now we have a serious fight on our hands again we've got the butchers again this is very butcher augmented kind of map and this time you've got two sliding hollows or creepy hollows who slide towards you it's not these butchers that you need to worry about the big guys it's these ones right here that you can only damage with your third strong attack this is why you would need a melee character would be very nice. All right. Now you're going to go up against the boss. You're going against Kampachi. You're going against Retsu. Not an issue. They are luring Kampachi first down to the bottom. Very easy to do Kampachi. His special doesn't do a lot of damage. Don't worry about it. Take, take your time. On this one, Dom said, seriously, go ahead and take your time. Take Kenny out. Get Retsu. Shoot in the face. Bring her down. She will not do a lot of damage again. You can take her out, all three of you. Not an issue. I think this map here, or this boss battle here, was not made so you would worry about the bosses. It's this wave behind them. Look how many creepy hollows they have now. You've got three creepy hollows, and you've got two flame guys. All of them can only get hit by one. You can only hit them for one damage, again, unless you have melee characters. Alright, so third strong attack would be perfect here. If there was four of them, and they all had uh, Rirukas, all of them could have dropped their third strong attack, and they probably would have killed all of them. Honestly, Riruka for this is amazing. This is just an example of, of Riruka. You guys um, obviously have other range characters that could possibly work for you. Oh, we're going to get Shunsui now. It's a boss battle. Okay, four butchers. Um, you got the two poisons behind them and two blade guys who throw your blades. So, again, normal attack, strong attack. Stay back. Don't push too far forward. Sometimes we get overexcited. Push forward. You got the lure in the middle. Very simple. Go in, maybe send one person. I'd say send Dom. Send one person in, take out the middle, 
take out the three right there and step back straight away. All right, now you're going up against the boss before the main bosses. You got Byakuya. You got the hollows, the creepy. You got the two creepy hollows. Um, you got the blade guys and you got the butchers. You want to try and take them out first before you take out Byakuya. The reason I say that you want to stay away from Byakuya too, but these hollows they will chase you around. The creepy hollow that Ruruka can only hit for one damage, they will slide around. You want to, as you're going around, try and take them out with your third strong attack. Before you go into the next stage, always try and make sure all your strong attacks are recharged. It will do you so much good. Honestly, you want to do that. Here they are right now. Third strong attack is where they get hit the most. You can do your first, second strong attack. It does give them weakness, but your third strong attack is what destroys those creepy hollows. Biakia powers up, guys, so you don't want to stay in his range. Stay out of Biakia's range, because if he if, when he powers up and he hits you with that vortex, I'm sorry, that's lights out. Okay, so stay away from Biakia. Three of you do not cramp together, please. Spread out. Honestly, spread out and take him out that way. Best way to do it. Best way to do it. Right, you can see right now, last 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 bit of damage, and then we're gonna come up to um the main part of the whole game, which is near the end now. Earthquake guy, you saw the V? Be careful. So, Specials guys save your specials for this moment right here if there was four of them and they all had a special I think it would have been all over um, I can't really talk much on this boss battle here Obviously you can see yourselves you got Shun Sui who's got who's got that crazy special stay away from those vortex spots Or he will kill you and that's the best advice I can give you or that me and Don can give you right now is that's how you complete Special co-op level 150 we're just showing you where all the main spots are how to take them out how you guys could use your Riruka or if you use another character, maybe you can follow some guidelines on here. They're all running around, Dom and his girls. Uh, good job, Dom. Absolutely brilliant. And I'm hoping that this video here, guys, really did help you guys. If uh, coming up to the co-op on Global, or if you guys are playing it on JP, this would be a perfect way to go ahead and complete it. Um, Dom found this to be um, the, the best way to do it was through Rirukas. I mean, if you had four of them, it would be perfect. But Dom, again, when you're playing on... Um, when you play with like random people, you try to join the game, some people are going to get DC'd, but with free Rurukas, they still got the job done. I think it's absolutely perfect. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, but for real, leave your, leave your feedback in the comment section below. Let us know if you love these kind of videos, if you love these breakdowns. But most of all, if you really did, make sure you smash that like button, share this video with your friends and your family. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's your boy Tom. This is your boy Cass. We're out. This is your boy Cass. We're out. Out. Out.